Hey everyone, uh, my name is Darren Smith and I want to welcome you to my first ever gardening channel video. Um, I just wanted to give you a very, very quick uh, tour of my garden. I mean, I have fruit trees, I have vegetables, I have bushes, I have all these things and I just want to share it with you guys. So we're going to go on a quick garden tour, just give you a brief overview of what I have. All right, let's go. This is my pluot tree. It's a flavor supreme pluot. Um, this is uh, my Santa Rosa plum tree. This plum tree has a bunch of fruit on it, a bunch of plums on it, as you can see. A bunch of plums on it. This is another plum tree. It's called a beauty plum. Um, these are actually really, really small plums. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger than a cherry. Uh, there's one on here. Now, uh, first, I want to say that you know this is my first time, um, my first time ever gardening anything. So all of my trees are young, all of my bushes are young. Most of them are. Um, I purchased them o under a year ago, so they're all going to be very young. Some have fruit on them. Some of them have dropped their fruit because they're just so young, and some I just pulled the fruit off because they're so young. So here we go. This is a green gauge plum tree. I bought it when it was just these four branches here that you see. Um, I've been pruning it all fall long and now it, puts, it pushed out all of this new growth. It's now about maybe six to eight feet tall. When I bought it, it was maybe about five, five and a half feet tall. This is my pink variegated lemon. I got two more old blood oranges. Uh, this one I got recently, it doesn't have much on it. It's just beautiful leaves. Um, this one though, um, you can see it has a couple little that's one fruit there and there's actually a little larger fruit here um, and then it has a bunch of flowers all over so I'm, I'm pretty proud of this tree it's you know and they smell great um, actually a little plug I um the only reason I got these blood orange and the the citrus I have now is because of uh, two people there's organics best urban gardener i love that dude and lead farmer 73 i mean these dudes grow the crap out of some citrus and when i saw it i was like i gotta try it because they're, they're talking about how beautiful the flowers are how they smell and i got it and guess what they were absolutely right these flowers smell amazing so this right here is my meyer lemon a couple lemons on it um, and then back here, I have two apple trees. This big one in the front is a five and one apple tree. So it has John of Gold, Granny Smith, Fuji, Brayburn, and I think a yellow transparent apple. Now the leaves look all droopy. You see how they look all sad? Yeah, they look really sad because um, I noticed that the tree had some dying limbs. And so what I did was I just pulled the, 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 the plant out of the pot just to check the root ball, make sure it wasn't root bound, all that stuff that people tell you to do on YouTube. And I noticed that there was a giant ant hill in the root ball. Now, let me tell you how I almost burned this tree. I, I was itching. I wanted to take a shower. I was disgusted. It was little baby ant maggots. It was disgusting. So what I did was I just rinsed the root ball off really good till it was pretty much bare roots. Then I repotted it, um, and actually it worked out pretty good because it actually put on some new growth. This is all new growth, and it, you know, it, within a week or so, um, and it's doing okay. The leaves are still a little sad, but I'm guessing that's just a little, a uh, little bit of transplant shock. Um, the the tree behind it, that's just a pink lady. My wife loves pink lady apples, so I decided to get a small pink lady apple tree. Oops, I'm tripping now. Now this, um, these are my potatoes. I grow them in containers. Yeah, I just threw some potato seeds in there, um, covered it in mulch, boom. About a few months later, we got some sprouts coming out and these things are beautiful. Um, that's just a little cucumber that I started. Hopefully that does well. Um, here's one of my bigger trees. This is a, um, a nectarine tree. It's called a Maricrest nectarine got it from a local nursery um by the way i'm actually in maryland zone seven i live in the dc area 
So um, my citrus and all those things, they come inside in the winter. Um, and it's actually been working out pretty well. Well, it's only been one winter, so yeah. That is my Maricrest Nectarine. I had some fruit on it, I pulled it off. Um, and so it just pushed out some new growth. This fall, I'm actually gonna prune it pretty good. I'm gonna chop it right down here. Um, sorry. I'm gonna chop it right here and just leave all these side shoots. Here are my blackberries. They're actually starting to ripen up pretty good. Uh, they're called um, Navajo thornless blackberries. And these are my uh, raspberries right below them. That's a little raspberry there. Um, some more growing in right here. And these are called Southern Falca berry, raspberry. Um, and then there's one more variety in here called Cumberland black raspberry. So I'm excited for these. This is the first year growing them. They just popped up. They're doing perfect. Um, this is my five in one cherry tree. This cherry tree has black tartarian, Montmorency, Bing, Van, and Lappins, and it's doing great. I love it. Um, this is my, it's called a flaming Jumbo Peach. I got it from Stark Brothers, and when I got it, it was just a twig. And you know, as a new gardener, um, getting a bare root tree is terrifying. I got this bare root tree and I'm like, okay, this thing is a stick. Uh, but guys like Lead Farmer 73, um, I can't remember, it's a guy with the dreads. He always talks about Lead Farmer, but I think it's like Family Gardens. I can't remember, but he, you know, they, they say you get bare root trees, it's gonna be a stick. But when you put them in something and they give them a fall or so, let the uh, roots stabilize and guess what? They pop right out. And that's exactly what these trees are doing. I mean, this is crazy. This this was literally just this brown stick here. Um, all the green is new growth. Same thing with this one. It's the same kind of tree. I got two of them. Same kind of tree. Um, this one is a Shiro plum. These plums ripen to yellow. Um, beautiful plum. Um, no fruit on it. Pop, I pulled them all off because it's still pretty young. Um, and here are a couple pluot trees. This one is a dapple dandy pluot. And this one actually is um, a combination pluot. So it has a dapple dandy, uh, flavor supreme, flavor king, and flavor queen on it. So never had a pluot before in my life. But guys like Lab Farmer 73, they got me excited about a pluot. I never even had one, but I definitely want to try one. So shots out to Lead Farmer 73. So this tree is also was a twig when I got it. Look at the trunk size. And I, I mean, that's just amazing. When I got it, it was it was almost like maybe a, a eighth of an inch. I mean, I mean five eighths of an inch. It's doing pretty good. And this one is another Shiro plum, but I decided to let the fruit stay on this one. I didn't pull them off. So I just wanted to experiment with one <clears throat> and do the other one the right way. <clears throat> this one is, <clears throat> sorry. This is one, it's called a yellow egg plum. Never heard of it, saw it, liked it, bought it. And this one is, oh, this is another shout out to Lead Farmer 73. Let me tell you how much these dudes inspired me. So Lead Farmer 73 did a, a video about this peach that he had. And um, he said it was like red flesh and it didn't taste like any of the other peaches that he had. And he looked it up and it was called an Indian blood peach. And he bought a tree. And so that's exactly what I did. I went and I looked for um, an Indian blood peach. <clears throat> And I got this tree and I got it from Willis Orchards. And it's, you know, once again, it was a twig and this thing is just all new growth. So I'm gonna have to do some pruning or I don't know, should I prune it? <clears throat> so should I prune it since it's so young or should I wait? Uh, let me know in the comments what I should do. Um, this one is a Florida Prince peach. Um, yeah, it's a Florida Prince peach. <clears throat> Came with some little fruits on it, they dropped off. Uh, this is a Celeste fig. This is a brown turkey fig. And then that one is a black mission fig. All very young. This is a Barbados cherry. Puts off a little cherry-like fruit. It's actually shaped more like an apple. Um, but it's a tropical cherry. 
can't wait to see what it tastes like and i got my two banana plants here this one actually put off two pups that's one of the pups and here is the other pup right on this side and it's actually putting off i don't know if you can see one more there it is right down there uh, the little pups coming up so i'm gonna have to transplant this banana and here's a black gold cherry tree this is a cara cara orange tree flowering smells good here is a um alberta peach has about five or six little peaches on it i decided to leave them on there pretty young tree about six feet tall this is my blueberry alley tons of blueberries it's all loaded blueberries everywhere blueberries blueberries everywhere all right this one is a guava i got two guava trees um it's called a ruby red guava or a red ruby guava um it's actually starting to put on some um some blue some flowers some I'm sorry, some flower buds right there. There's a couple all over the tree. This one is a little bit bigger, has some, some uh, buds on it too. This one is a Saturn peach. Another lead farmer, 73 inspired tree. I saw his Saturn peach and you know, he got it from Stark Brothers. I got this one from Stark Brothers. Um, it was a stick. It was literally this brown here that you know that was it and now one fall one spring boom leaves everywhere now here's where we get to the sad part lead farmer 73 this is my high chia persimmon now i know you have that persimmon tree um that you love so much so don't judge me i don't know what i'm doing yet so help me out this is a high chia persimmon now i don't know about y'all i'm in zone seven in maryland and it is uh june 7th so i don't know what a persimmon's supposed to look like but this just looks a little bit sad if you ask me it has leaves on it they don't look diseased or anything it has a couple little you know buds on it and little persimmon trying to squeeze out but let me know if i should pick them off or i should let the tree get stronger let me know what i should do because it, it just looks sad um, here's my Asian pear. It's actually a Hausui pear right there. Little pear tree. Um, it's putting off some new growth. Excited for that. Um, here is my Fuyu persimmon. This one, it looks a lot better. There you go, lead farmer. This one looks a little bit better. Fuyu. Um, this is a Giambo persimmon. Um, and here is my Oware Satsuma tree. It's finally starting to push off some buds. I don't know if you can see them. They're real small. There's one. Uh, there's a couple more on that leaf. Uh, some new growth everywhere. It's nice looking tree. Here's my strawberry patch. It has tons of strawberries. See my dog, this is Archer. He loves strawberries. So every time I come over here, he runs over, so I, you know, I gotta give him one. Let me see if I can find a ripe one for him. There you go. There you go. Yeah, he loves strawberries. Good boy. Now right, get out of here. You ain't getting no more. Get out of here. You ain't getting no more strawberries. Um. And this is my contender peach tree. This is probably my biggest peach tree. Um, you can see a bunch of peaches on it. I decided to leave them on there. I know I'm supposed to pick them off, but the branches are real. I know I'm supposed to, I know it. It hurts my feelings. I know I'm supposed to pick them off. I probably will. I just, I kind of just want to see what it does. I did the right thing on all my other trees. I just want to see one that, 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 you know, does it naturally or whatever it has to do, you know. Um, and here is my vegetables. So I got that's broccoli, peppers, tomatoes. I'm not gonna go through each one. Tons of tomatoes and peppers. Um, a bunch of different rare uh, varieties and a bunch of uh, heirloom varieties. Um, but I will show you this. This is my 
It's called a moon beam watermelon. Um, and it has some watermelons on it, but right now I can't find any because they all green. Ain't that something? Oh, here it is. Here's one. It's growing. Uh, here's another one, a little bit bigger right there. And the cool thing about these watermelons is that they won't get any bigger than like the size of a cantaloupe. They're actually baby watermelons, so they don't get very big. So the vines stay small. Here's another one. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's all over. There's one there. There's one starting right there. There's one there and one there. I mean, it thinks, this thing's going like crazy and it's trellising along my little fence, which is cool. That's real cool. So I like, I'm excited for this watermelon to see what it does. Here's a better view at some of the uh, tomatoes I have. This one is a, uh, a pear tomato and it's just putting off a whole bunch of tomatoes. Early girl, um, lucky tiger, a different varieties I never heard of. I just bought them because they look cool in the pictures. So I will learn this year if they actually taste good. Look at this one. Nice, this is a bigger size tomato. Tomato down there. Um, these are called blue Wagners. They're just blue, they're blue. They ripen to blue. I, I can't wait to see them. Um, but yeah. See, I don't really have a lot of space, but um, that's my garden. Thank you for watching the video. Um, but I do want to say, you know, I, the, though, like guys like um, the family guard, I can't remember his name. I love his channel. Him and his wife are funny. Um, like home gardens or family gardens, uh, Lay Farmer 73, Organics Best, James Prigioni. Um, these guys, they have great videos um, about their gardens. But my main one, aside from them as my inspiration, uh, my main reason is that, I, you know, I love God. You know, I love Jesus. I love um, the beautiful designer that our creator was, is, I'm sorry. Our, our creator is a beautiful designer and everything he does is purposefully done. Um, and when I, when I plant this stuff for the first time, I mean, this is my first time planting anything. And when I plant some of this stuff for the first time and I start to see the fruit, it only uh, further verifies what I believe um, the Bible says about who Jesus is, who God is, the parables Jesus gives about fruit and pruning, all of that stuff is, I'm, you know, I'm living it now. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. And I, I you know, I just want to attribute all of this stuff, all of these trees, look at all these trees. Look at that. I want to attribute all of the growth and the trees and the fruit and the berries i want to attribute that to our creator not me um i want to attribute that to to our father in heaven um and it's very it's very important that we remember that it's not mother nature it's not some kind of you know strange thing in the sky doing this for us it is a purposeful god um who does it by design because he loves us and he gives us stuff in abundance you plant one tomato seed and you get 20 tomatoes that is a god of abundance um, and I just want to make sure that that's clear that this these videos are inspired by God. Um, and I and I think it's just a beautiful thing to see, uh, you know, the, the fruits of our labor. It's a beautiful thing. And to see the literal fruit of our labor is an even more beautiful thing. So I'm signing off. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more content. If you want to see a, a specific tree more in depth. If you want to see a tree uh, like the guava or something that you can't grow in your garden or anything like that, if you want to ask me some questions about any of my fruits, any of my trees, any of my vegetables, uh, put a comment down below. Um, send me a message, whatever you want to do. Um, I appreciate you guys watching it. Um, and I just want to remind each and every one of you, God loves you. Um, when you. When you heard his word of truth and the gospel of salvation, you were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. Um, and he loves you. I just want to remind each and every one of you to ask God to send the rain. All right. Thank you. Have a good night, guys.